Ladies and gentlemen, Delaware State alumni, if you're hearing this, lend me your ears. Delaware State University football team has finished with just the second one win season in the history of the university going back 50 years after getting absolutely uh, sacri- being the sacrificial lambs, North Carolina Central's at FBS playoff drive 55 to 14 this weekend. Um, I don't know where you guys, I mean, we all went to the same university and we all had pretty good math professors. Shout out to Mr. Frank Gibson. Um, but five and six is a lot better than one in 10. And it's in last year's five and six under Rod Milstead was super competitive. This year's one in 10 under Lee Hall was the nastiest football I've ever had the displeasure of viewing. And I've seen some nasty football in the history of Delaware State University. I've seen a one in 10 team, 2003, my second year as a student reporter. That team had heart. That team had fight. That th- This Delaware State team that I saw this year, they're the, black, they're the Bishop Sycamore Black College football now. I can't even put that on Lincoln, <laughs> California. I can't even put that on Virginia University of Lynchburg because doggone it, they won two games. Delaware State won one. And they didn't even win a game against the NCAA school. They won a game against Virginia Lynchburg. So it doesn't even count. So they're literally 0-10. 0-10-1. Now, 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 now while everybody's laughing and, yeah, I'm having a good time with this, this is not a good time for Delaware State University football, Delaware State and University Athletics, and I'll tell you why. There needs to come a point where accountability comes from the top up. And, yes, I'm talking about President Tony Allen. Yes, I'm talking about AD Alicia shields Gast. Y'all, y'all ran out a Delaware State legend. Rod Milstead was a three-time all MEAC offensive guard. He is he and John Taylor were teammates on that uh, 49ers uh, Super Bowl 29 winning team. He literally came back from a successful college, high school career in Maryland, coaching at Lackey High School in Indian Hill, uh, not Indian Hill, Indian Head, Indian Head, Maryland. That's in Charles County. Um, to uh, help his alma mater, and he did the best he could with what little he had. And this team was five and six last year. Lose the offensive coordinator Brian Bassard died suddenly. Had a uh, flu bug that ran through the team the last month of the season, and they literally were just putting people out there who were like walk-ons. They, I mean, I mean, you can't even call them walk-ons. You probably call them crawl-ons, honestly. So, the, I mean, that team went from four and two to five and six real quick, and you get Milstead out the door. Okay, so you're bringing Lee Hall. He was the offensive coordinator of a Howard offense that was okay last year. But notice how much better they got with the new offensive coordinator. They actually were able to beat North Carolina Central this year, something they couldn't do last year. And this isn't me taking shots at Lee Hall because Lord knows I've had enough parents do that in my uh, email box. You know, a lot of parents that I know are just telling me this, that, and the other that I'm not uh, comfortable divulging as of yet. But, you know, maybe there'll come a time where I'll have to. But... Uh, A.D. Gasson and Tony Allen, Dr. Allen, they have some explaining to do. Because you can't just get rid of a coach that ne- literally had you closer to your win- first winning season in 10 years than anyone ever had before, you know, who's a favorite son of the university. Dump him for a coach that won the MEAC on a technicality, on a, on a coin flip for crying out loud. Like it, like that 2014 MEAC year is a year that no one even cares to talk about because we just so stupid it was just like five teams finished with the same record it's like oh wow morgan state it's like it's like the price is right you know when somebody bids on something where it's like okay i'm gonna bid five hundred dollars on this and says someone says okay i'm gonna bid 501 and retail price 502 you win that was the 2014 morgan state MEAC championship team that doesn't bode very well for the future of Delaware State University football, and it doesn't bode well for the future of athletics because nobody gives a you-know-what about the football program. Like, there were more people for the Delaware State University of Delaware basketball game on a Wednesday night last week that I saw during Delaware State football the entire season. That's not good. And, yes, you don't want to always put your eggs in one basket when you're putting an athletic program together, but at some point, people are tired of seeing a losing football team, not just a losing football team, a decrepit losing football team. So I don't know what the future, I don't know what uh, Dr. Allen's plans are. I don't know what A.D. Gass's plans are, but something has to be, something has to change because you're running off alumni, you're running off potential athletes. You've got bored kids who literally either show up at halftime or leave at halftime after the band is played. 
That's not a way to run a football program. It's not a way to run a sports program because you need to have teams that are good. And right now, football is just probably the biggest problem that Delaware State University has, but it's not the only problem. So my closing argument is this. Somebody needs to get their head out of their behind in, the, in those offices and actually start doing something to make Delaware State uh, athletics relevant again. Because right now, it is embarrassing to be in a loan. And I love my university. So many people I know, we love our university. We're tired of coming to homecoming and just commiserating over the fact that we just got our, you know, snot boxes rocked by North Carolina Central or South Carolina State or Howard, wherever our homecoming opponent is this year. Next year it might be Merrimack. I don't know, but it's embarrassing. You got to start winning these games, man. That's really all I got. So that's my closing argument. Merrimack? Mer- Mer- oh, yeah, Merrimack beat our doors in last year, buddy. It wasn't homecoming, but you never know. They might be homecoming next year in the Shoot, it might even be Sacred Heart. Never mind. I'm done. <laughs>